Hello gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate your likes and your subscribes. Everybody who already has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video as well as the link in the bio. I have many different options as well as a cord cutting now on my menu. Just go to the readings and more tab and you can find it there. It is the cord cutting ritual that I perform as well as a PDF workbook and visualization for you to do at home. So you can have it to use for many things. Um, doing a cord energetic cord cutting to anything or anybody that is energetically holding you back is a good idea. If you would like to enter to win $200, you can do that by liking, subscribing to all YouTube videos linked in the description of this video, and commenting blessing. I will be drawing that on the 28th of February, announcing on the 1st. So let's get into this. We are seeing what is coming towards all my beautiful zodiac signs um, in the next seven days. What can you expect for the next seven days in general and in love? Time for you to see your life and its limitless potential without seeing through rose-colored glasses, clarity, certainty, and truth. If you leave your comfort zone, you will see accelerated growth and change, expansion, explore, and growth. You are being asked here to step outside the gate, step outside your comfort zone. There's a lot of expansion, a lot of growth, the sacred traveler. There is an upcoming opportunity for you to move or travel, enjoy this new adventure. Some of you may be on a journey. You may be on a healing journey. You could be on a a journey of self-discovery you may be moving for work you may be thinking about relocating or there's just a lot of good new opportunities coming in for you tell me about this spirit some of you could be astro projecting you could be doing um, some astro projection in the 5d you may or may not be recognizing this a lot of you are making a choice to move forward from the three of swords. You could be a fire sign or an air sign. You're moving forward from the three of swords energy, heartbreak and betrayal. There's two paths you can go down. And you're being given messages in your sleep, in the five in, in the five D, in the dream state for some of you. Others, um, you could get a message that you got an, a job or or an, an, an interview, you've been a little hesitant, but there is a mature, a, a mature, grounded person coming in to offer you a new opportunity or offer you, you know, a love offer. Some of you are meeting somebody new. It will be a new love offer, and it's going to be very, very beautiful. You've been hesitant on dating. You've been hesitant on putting yourself back out there. But I'll tell you, when you're ready, when you find this clarity, because it is coming, you have many opportunities a, a, to pass in front of you, and a choice will be made. Moving forward with love, Spirit, tell me, what is coming in the next seven days in love for the collective? Your crown chakra may be opening. There's some clarity that you're finding through your crown and your third eye. You may want to do a crown chakra or third eye chakra um, visualization to really help yourself find clarity here. Somebody is hiding something from you. They're coming in, but they're not telling you the, the full story. They're giving you half truths. This person seems to um, be gossiping or you could find that um, you hear some gossip about them, about whatever it is they've been trying to hide. They may want to come in and have a quickie. They may want to come in and uh, want to link up. Some of you, you could hear from this person on your lunch break. They could text you or or. Um, receive a voice something about voicemail so maybe um, you will miss the call you could have left this person a voicemail and they have not responded to it 
they're stressed they're they're looking at your your insta trying to figure out what you're doing they could send you a dm this person may have tried to um, call you via messenger as well. You can see that you have a missed call from them. They're trying to figure out what you're doing. Um, and, be, and there's some negative thoughts a third party may be having about you. You seem to have caught them or you got caught with them or will in the next seven days. If you are in the middle of some kind of affair or friends with benefits and you know that they have a a third party at home be careful because something may happen over the next seven days tell me what they're hiding what are they trying to hide they're looking for something that they feel like they're not good enough but spirit saying they're a liar and they can't be trusted this person may want something from you they may want a handout they may want you to give them something. This person doesn't want you to know that they've never felt good enough. They could feel like they're the ugly duckling in their family or, you know, they're the black sheep. They were never good enough that all their siblings are do better than them. Something like this. They could be being followed. They could be wanting to put a tracking a, a device in your vehicle. So be mindful over the next seven days. This person is a trickster, but they are getting served with a big dose of karma. They are getting served right now, present energy, because they are such a trickster. This person may try to start talking to one of your friends to make you angry. I know it sounds so immature, but people do this every day they may try to message or reach out to one of your friends on insta or on facebook to ask them to talk to you for them what is this gossip somebody here could have um a gray ball cap You could have a child to this person and they've been behaving very selfish because they are wrapped up with a karmic um, family member or a karmic lover. Always puts their own needs before their children's. Like I said, you could be um, the one that's t doing everything for your child and this person's doing next to nothing because they're selfish and they're wrapped up with a karmic. You could feel like this person is never there for your kid, ever. Some of you, this person was was raised by a bad parent that was very selfish and, and made them act narcissistic because they were raised by a narcissist. They were raised by somebody that was not a good parent. There's a lot of childhood trauma here. You've been trying to give this person the benefit of the doubt because you know that they had a really hard childhood. But you're starting to, to understand that we all have the choice to heal. What do they plan to do in the next seven days? They're about to have a nervous breakdown. They can't cope anymore. They're pretending like they're happy. <clears throat> Here we go again. This person wants another chance. You're literally going to say to yourself, Here we go again. Yeah, no. There's something ridiculous they may want you to do. They've been faking like they're happy with this with this third party. They don't want you to know how unhappy they are. Why? Tell me about Poser, please. Why are they pretending like they're happy? Your intuition's telling you everything. This person's not sleeping. There's fear. There's unhappiness. They're overwhelmed. And they are hitting a damn breaking point. This is somebody who is truly all over in their energy, feeling really out of sorts, nervous. They could be um, broke. They may need you to help them, bail them out of something. Your intuition seems to be picking up on this. You all are exchanging energy. You could be astro traveling in your sleep. Your souls could be um, connecting. Your spirit guides are trying to warn you. Tell me about this, Karmic. 
This person could be married to this person. Definitely have children to them. They are about to be single. If you ask this person, they would tell you that they're not in a relationship, that it's over, that they're just staying there for the kids. Some of you thought this person was single. You had no idea that you were put in a third-party relationship. They're coming in with a text message. Because there's lack of money. This person made poor financial decisions. They want to come in and apologize, but they need something from you. Some of you, this person stays with this third party because of money. They feel like uh, they're about to have a nervous breakdown when they think about what would happen or what they would have to give up or how much they would have to pay out if they moved forward. And that's why they stay and pretend like they're happy. They're very sensitive. They're a very sensitive soul, even if they're not acting that way. Your, your intuition is telling you that this person, you know, is in need. You may feel like this person, you know, you could feel their energy. You can feel that they're in need or that something's not right with them. They're a smooth talker, this one. Just know if they come in asking you for money or asking you to help them in some way, you know, you may want to really uh, make the decision um, based with your head and not your heart. I'll wait for a sign from you. I love you unconditionally. And my life is not as together as it seems, period. This person is a poser. They're pretending to be happy online and out in public. But you know what you know the truth. You know that they're not. This could be a Leo. You could be a Virgo, an Earth sign, a Pisces, a Taurus. They're becoming single. They are approaching you in a single energy. But it feels to me like they could still be living with the karmic or they're staying on their mama's couch. And their mom is really selfish and narcissistic. For some of you, that is definitely the case. They've left a karmic lover and they're living with a karmic mother or father. Oh boy, we shall see. So I'm going to pull some uh, letters for initials um, out of my magic box. I'm sorry for the... I've been pulling them before the reading because of it being so loud. The letter E. Oh, spirit. C. This could be your first, your middle, or your last. The wheel... The letter P, the letter A, C-E-P-A, the wheel is here, the wheel is turning, good luck is coming for you. You're about to receive some really good opportunities, your good karma is coming in, meanwhile, they are paying off their bad karma, that's usually how it happens. I hope you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light.